So I had this whole plan for doing a bunch of tests and uh, you know, you're gonna see them. Um, and you're gonna see me start the video and explain it all that, but I just wanted to go in before I kind of kick everything off and say, it's raining and my kids are napping and this is the kind of time I had for it. I had to cook dinner, I'm smoking some ribs. Again, I'll even talk about the recipe. But what you're gonna see is a little more of a homebrew version and I call it that, but it's even more so now just because of the weather. And so uh, what you're gonna end up with is just a real simple sort of, I brought some lenses home, I was watching some college football outside in the garage while I'm smoking some meat, drinking some uh, clear beer, Topo Chico's, and so you'll see, it'll make more sense. So everything in here is about to get real low budge, like super low budge, like you'll see. I'm gonna do a little test. So I'm gonna smoke some baby back ribs, and part of that test process will be uh, comparing lenses. So what we have is a kind of homebrew version of a, of a still lens versus a Cine Prime. And we're gonna compare the Sigma 18 to 35 and some Zeiss CP2s. They're not necessarily in the same category, but those are the two lenses I have. So I have a set of primes and a zoom, and we're just gonna kind of compare them. So what I'll do is on the bottom of the screen, I'm just gonna cut it as is, probably shoot sections with both lenses, uh, try and give you as much compare and contrast as possible, but you'll see it, I'll note it on the bottom of the screen, it'll say which lens it is and what the focal length is. Um, I will tell you the standard specs I'm shooting on are not all I, I'm just shooting on um, 4K at uh, 150 megs, at 24, I will shoot some 8-bit just because I like slow-mo, but that's what I'm going to do, um, and it'll all be shot vlog and just, you know, we'll use either a lot, one of our custom lots or we'll grade it. So that's what we're going to start out with. So let's start prepping some meat. I'm going to treat it like a cooking show, kind of, like a halfway cooking show, somewhat. Like so I'm going to prep the ribs. I'm going to wash my hands. So I'll prep these ribs with the Sigma 18, and then I'll prep the next set with the other lens. So here's some business, and I'll try and get some close ups as I can. Knives about as dull as a lot of YouTube videos. Basically, as I mentioned earlier, this would be the 18, and I had a shot like this, so I felt like I should replicate it. So, this next set of ribs I'm going to do uh, with this rub here. It's a little bit lighter of a rub um, in terms of there's no sugar, it's just meant to give a little bit of salt, a little, little texture to a little flavor to the meat, rather. And then I'm going to smoke it uh, just like the other ones, except I'm going to potentially finish with a mole sauce. And we're going to see how that goes. It could go terrible, I don't know. So same process, I'm going to remove the silver skin. I'll jump in for those shots so you guys see them, but we'll start out and we'll go forward from there. So uh, this is just, I'm going to talk a little bit about barbecue stuff as we go through this. But I met this fella in Missouri, and he was real big on pulling the silver skin, or whatever they call it, <clears throat> off, the, off the back here. His argument was it always it made for a better bite, and so it's a pain. But you can kind of see all you gotta do is just kind of tear it up a bit. And what we're looking for is the separation between uh, the meat. It's just this whatever this back membrane is. These are working beautifully to do just that. And I try and do it pretty regularly now because what happens is, is when you cook, you end up getting, like when you bite into it, this becomes kind of like a, like a plasticky, waxy sort of vibe. And uh, this kind of helps eliminate that. All right, so same process. We're gonna try and remove this membrane. Got really lucky on the first one. Um, I usually try and go in the middle somewhere to get it started. So I'm going to do another trick. I'm just going to score the back. I'm 
basically what I like to do is I build a little tent. So I build stuff up like a little fire. This way. This guy looks like he'll go nicely like that. So I kind of arrange my charcoal, which is probably a way over the top. So you do that, knock the whole thing over. And as I was saying, it just I get better results when I kind of stack it up. It doesn't have to always go that way. Maybe it's not something for you. It's just something that makes me happy to kind of build it up that way. And then sprinkle in some bits. And that's kind of it. That's how I build my box out first. And I light it and we'll keep going.
I went down, down the road Far in my half to see I went down the road Far in my half to see